Firstly, tell me how long you were stranded actually in Miami, you know, awaiting return to Guyana. Well, on the verge of returning back to Guyana on March the 18th, the airport was scheduled to close at midnight and our flight was uh, landing before midnight, that, that's 10 30 to be exact. And our flight was transiting in Trinidad and that was the, um, we couldn't enter Trinidad, so that was the main case that we got stranded because we couldn't enter Trinidad so that we can come home to Ghana. So it was a connecting flight, so it was difficult. Trinidad didn't want any non-citizen in their country. Mm -hmm. Given you were so close to coming home, had it not been for the connecting situation, and then having to spend such a long time in Miami, how difficult was that process for you? Well, um, it was very difficult at first, knowing that um, me and my fellow companion, John Garrett, we slept at the airport for two nights straight before we got in contact with the general consulate. And yeah, from then on, you know, it's like being at the airport for two nights straight, sleeping, you know, you feel, you feel alone, you feel lonely. Like, Especially in this time of need, you know, you wanted to be with your family, you know, connect with them, have a bond, especially in this time. But it was it was very difficult. You know, we had to cope with it, you know, we had to adjust ourselves to the normal lifestyle. So it was difficult, but yet still we cope with it. Mm -hmm. and, and, and and during that period over there, I know uh, afterwards you guys got, got into hotels, etc the compliments of the government and you know what was that process like not knowing when the border is going to open not knowing when you're able to come home yeah we were um the government provided housing for us and so on so but at first the airport was scheduled to open two weeks later so we had our hopes high saying that yes we're going to get a chance to go home in the next two weeks so it wasn't like, it didn't bother us at all. But after we keep seeing that the airport will extend its closure, a month after, then the next month, you know, it started to be like, yeah, it's like we're not going home anytime soon. So it was very difficult knowing that we had to stay away, you know. But like I said, we had to adjust ourselves. We, we get chances to do activities that we normally do, but by ourselves, though. Yeah, and I guess the hard part for you would have been being away from family for so long. I know, obviously, the situation in Guyana is compared to what in America was, you know, vastly different. But I, I would assume you really wanted to be with family. Yeah, especially seeing the, the numbers of the coronavirus cases rising daily and the amount of death increasing in different states in America, you know, that, that uh, tell me more that I need to be with my family because I don't want to be in a country where the, the coronavirus is more prevalent, you know? So it was very difficult. We had to stay indoor just to keep safe. You know, we wanted to do everything so that we can keep safe and, not gain contact with anyone that um, has a virus. And then after you got the news that you were able to come home and, and you finally landed uh, yesterday, I know you have to spend one week home, but you know how refreshing was that? You know to be on the plane and actually step off to be back home. I was very overwhelmed, you know, with joy, and it, it was a very great moment to get the news that we were getting the opportunity to go back home to come back home and it was, it was very good, you know, I was excited getting the chance to see my family again, you know, it was like, I, when I saw my mom tears come to her eyes, you know, because knowing that I was away from her for so long, especially in this time, we communicated every day, you know, she asked, she asked me the various questions, if I'm safe and stuff, when I'm getting a chance to come home and now that I get a chance to come home, she, she was proud. And it was very overwhelming too. Yeah, I know one week on lockdown, but you know, after that period would subside, you know, for you, 
or important is, I guess, you want to get back to, you know, doing your personal, you know, fitness training, et cetera, for whenever, you know, football season resumes. Yeah, well, after that one week lockdown, I don't want to, like, rest. I don't want to rest and get myself into bad shape. I want to continue uh, practicing, doing my personal training that, as I was doing when I was uh, stranded. I wanted to continue doing that so I can keep myself in good shape. So when all this coronavirus pandemic is over and we start back out to practice and get back out on the football field, I would be in the best shape so that I'm ready to go again. 